time, we will not prove results, except for just a few. Uh, but rather, uh, try to develop some intuition as much as possible. It is a challenging task because normally these topics are covered in two semester per year. Um, um, so this is part of uh, uh, my half part of the course. And as we wrote this course, doesn't have an exam. So it's, it's completely based on uh, homework assignments. And for this part, there will be one long homework, which uh, will be due, I think, the 5th of December. But there is a course where they want the information and the lectures. It's um, just written on the page of GISO. Transformation, which from a 
n-dimensional vector space with m-dimensional vector space. Right? So, which means that if you take a vector x, so n numbers, uh, if you apply the matrix to x, you take m-dimensional vector, which is a linear combination of the columns of a, right? ai. Matrix A, you also write it as the collection one after the others of these columns, A1, Kn. Right? And when you apply matrix A to the vector X, you obtain a linear combination of these columns. Okay? <coughs> so what you obtain, what you can do with this matrix is a linear transformation. Okay? So it's a linear function. So vector space, vector space. Um, So now we'll discuss this with some property of matrix system. I guess you, all this is uh, okay. Right? <coughs> so you can speak uh, transpose of the matrix, right? And very simple, if the matrix is a type of matrix, when you get the transpose, you just pull it around. Transpose of A is a now a long matrix as uh, as n uh, rows and n columns, or as A as n rows and columns, and the <coughs> uh, J i elements of the transpose is equal to the element i j of A. <coughs> if the matrix is square and the transpose is equal to matrix, then it's called symmetric. Let's satisfy this equation. Uh, skew matrices or other symmetric satisfy this equation. So when you take element uh, ij is equal to minus the element j. And so, so you can define auto properties which apply to matrices. Another one which is very useful is uh, a positive electric matrices. So there are matrices that are square. So this this equation you form the quadratic form associated with the matrix. If you take a vector x, you take x transpose ax. So this is a scalar. Right? <coughs> and it's given by squad. So it's a sum of i and j from 1 to n of these numbers xi, aij, xj. <coughs> this quantity is always more or than zero. Right? If this, this is true, no matter what the vector x is, the matrix is and these instruments are very important in uh, machine learning statistics for as an example of what we are doing to make a covariance matrix. Okay? <coughs>
another way to say this, which is perhaps uh, more intuitive, the, uh, the range of the matrix is a set of vectors which are spun, which are thin, as being a combination of colors. Okay, right? Because, uh, as we said before, A of X will be the same as a linear combination of the colors of A, which we can open as AI, so AI is a vector, it's a vector of the bar. So this is also called the color space. The space obtained by the linear combinations of the okay. Another important space is the, the null space. Now this is a subspace of the domain. The set of all vectors in X, right? vectors in the first space, which when uh, apply A to these vectors, we will take in this room. Now, what is important? So, this is a subset of Rn, and this is a subset of Rn. So what is important, these two spaces are linear subspaces. The subsets in that time? Yes, but okay. what how is it actually is, is that much like Yes, it's, so this, this is a set, the set of which is this one is constrained, is a subset of this other set of it. It's contained, it's smaller. <coughs> so as an example, uh, the M is equal to 2, right? So the cos of A is the plane, and the range space would be a line. here to understand the definition of some properties of these sets, they are linear subspaces, so which means, who knows what a linear subspace is. So, uh, it means that uh, it's a set of vectors, those which are the property of if you take any two vectors in the set, the sum is still in the set, also of the, the vector in the set that is a scalar in the set, so it's closed by these linear operations. Okay. So if you take a line, any point on the line, it multiplied by a scalar is still on the line. So it's a linear subspace. Okay. If you are in the plane, you take any two points on the plane, you have some part of the rest of the plane. So these are linear subspaces. <coughs> um, and should it, so if you think about so this is first mental exercise to do, it should be clear in the definition of the sum top that these are linear subspaces, right? Do you think it's useful to, to see it now or I can skip it? Yes, I skip no. So, uh, so if you take vectors in the range space, right? So let's call them B1 and B2. Right? There are two uh, uh, so it means that B i times 2 is equal to A times X i. So this is the way the elements of the range space are generated. They are the image of the vector <coughs> domain. Then if you Sum them up, right? Take B1 plus B2, which is equal to AX1 plus A of X2, which is equal to A times X1 plus X2, right? So B1 plus B2 is in the set. So it's obtained by applying the matrix A to a vector domain, which is X1 plus X2. 
similarly, uh, uh, also linear combination So, for the null space, uh, let's say that you have x1, now we have x2, which are in the null space. Again, you need to show that every linear combination of x1 and x2 is in the null space. Well, let's just show that the sum is in the space. So you have uh, this kind of so you have A of X1 plus X2 property A of X1 plus A of X2. Therefore zero, so it's equal to zero, so it's the same. So use the linearity, the linear property of the well, you have a linear transformation, so using the linearity of this transformation you can show that is to set. theorem which says that um, the column rank is equal to the row rank. Uh, so the dimension of the column space is equal to the dimension of the row space. The, so, right? and the column space is the range of A and uh, the row space is the most important as the range of A transfer. Of these two spaces is the same. Now, A is said to have full rank <coughs> if, sorry, as a consequence of this result, the rank of the matrix is always less or equal than the mean one that the number goes and goes. If it is equal to this number, then it is A is said to be full rank. So, which means that. Columns than rows, and the columns are linearly independent. The linear combination of columns is equal to zero. Of 
of simple matrices or rank one matrix. What does it mean that the matrix has rank one? Well, okay. the range of A must be a line. The range of A is a line, which means that, uh, well, in other words, the right the span of the vector. Yeah? The range is a set of linear uh, combination of this vector. There's only one. So the whole vector can have multiple of them. So therefore, it must be the case that when you apply A to a vector X, a generic vector of A, the result is always a multiple of B. So this is a very uh, important example. Now, since this is a real transformation, right, this lambda of x is the coefficient, right, which depends on x, which gives you the image of x with the real transformation, right, with multiple of p, the vector which generates the vector space. And the coefficient depends on x, and I can call it lambda of x. Right, since this is a real transformation, the coefficient lambda of x must be linear. Right? It must be the case <coughs> that uh, the coefficient is obtained by taking the scalar product between x and the vector of general zero. <coughs> and the scalar product is c uh, plus plus x is the sum of the pi and the sky. Then we arrive to the expression that A is uh, the product of P times C transpose. Okay. So B is B C transpose. <coughs> so this is right one matrix. Also called the outer product of a vector all the vectors that are seen B must have the same number and the dimension of B must be equal to the number of rows of A and the dimension of C the number of rows. So rank one matrix are the simplest matrix one can think of. Um, in particular, if you choose either C or B to be um, an element of the standard basis of the respective space, you, uh, you obtain a matrix which has only one column or row Okay. So when you form A by this equation, in general, every element of A will be different from C. Right? So this equation means that A i j is equal to um, bi times cj, right? Okay. So if b and c are dense vectors, then all the elements need to be zero, so will be a of the elements of the matrix. But if you choose for example c to be equal to ej, right? So c has all its elements equal to zero except except for the j j element. So in that case, <coughs> matrix A will have only one uh, column in the system, the J column, which is equal to the vector C. Now this makes sense. So this way you obtain a very special matrix. So a matrix which has rank 1. Space is one dimensional, but it has only one uh, mm -hmm. zero, which is a two. Likewise, if you choose vector B to be that, 
phases, we have to see to be generic, the tail mean, which has only one or zero row, which is equal to the <coughs> Then, if you start to sum up matrices, which has rank 1, you obtain matrices which have a bigger rank in general, and which are more complicated. Right? So, you will be obtained as a sum for matrices of this form, and therefore, the matrices will be involve more parameters. Uh, and we will see, uh, when we discuss single value decomposition, this is exactly the idea of single value decomposition. Give me a matrix, try to write it, to compose it as a sum of simple round point matrices, which have some special properties. Okay. So 
matrix equation, we want to extract the uh, J column of the left, left and right hand side. What do you do? Right here is a J column with each and the definition. Now here, we need to take the j column of this matrix, the column of the set, is equal to the matrix A multiplied by the j column of the set. Vector B is a point in the space that has a clear geometric meaning 
as a linear combination of every two other linearly independent vectors, which you call A1 and A2. Now these two vectors form the cones of the matrix A. And the way to obtain this unique representation of B as a linear combination of these two vectors A1 and A2 is to solve the system of equations. x, the solution gives you the coefficient of b now relative to the coefficients. So all these uh, algebraic notions have uh, in most cases Means 